China claims to have mobilized its supersonic nuclear missile to safeguard the South China Sea. RT Sarah Montes de Oca joins me. Okay, Sarah, we just finished with three days of economic talks, which seemed like we were making progressively good movements with our relationship, and now there's this. Well, Scotty, right now, this military buildup is based on pure rhetoric, but the missile is a real weapon that can cause real damage. Now, remember that missile that Chinese Admiral Liu Yuan threatened to use on American ships? The one that could cost 10,000 U.S. lives? Well, Beijing announced that its so-called carrier and anti-ship missile has been deployed to the country's northwest. The supersonic nuclear missile, the DF-26, reportedly has a range of about 3,400 miles. An expert says even when launched from deeper inland areas of China, the DF-26 has a range far reaching enough to cover the South China Sea. The move is a response to a U.S. Navy destroyer, the USS McCampbell, that sailed into the South China Sea on Monday. It was conducting what the Navy calls a Freedom of Navigation Operation, or FONOP, near Chinese-held islands. This prompted an angry reaction from Beijing. China's Ministry of National Defense said that the U.S. gravely violated Chinese sovereignty. Though some experts aren't worried that this will turn into military action, since we've seen these types of exercises before. What I see is the U.S. going forward with these operations and China also taking additional measures of placing missiles, surface-to-air missiles, on some of its artificial islands. But as we've seen in previous years also, those missiles are in place there, but they're also removed thereafter after a period of time. So we have this kind of cat and mouse game that happens, and I can see that game again being played out this year. And of course, things can get aggravated down the line if there is a mishap somewhere. But frankly, I think this is still very much under control by both parties. The dispute in the South China Sea is an ongoing international conflict over territory. Multiple countries are claiming the same territory. That conflict involves China, the Philippines, Vietnam, Taiwan, Brunei, and Malaysia. In the last several years, China has built military bases on man-made islands in that region. While China claims it is Chinese land, the U.S. argues it's international waters and international airspace. And in recent weeks, the U.S. has called on American Pacific allies to ramp pressure on Beijing's attempt to control over the South China Sea. Meanwhile, it looks like Taiwan is changing some of its military exercising just in case they need to confront Chinese army. This comes just one week after Beijing warned that China is keeping the option of use of military force against the island. Scotty, though China has a three million member army and the world's second largest defense budget, Taiwan hopes that their, technolog their technology and their will help their fighting force can prevent a confrontation with China. Sarah, any sort of idea of how this is actually going to affect trade relations, as that was still fragile, seemed to be getting better. Any idea, any readout between the two countries of what that might have? Well, no connection just yet, but the tensions have definitely heightened and increased, especially after the three days of trade talks that really didn't come much of after many results or anything we knew that we heard didn't we didn't hear anything new. So I feel like sometimes we take with China two steps forward, two steps back. Hopefully we'll come back together. Cat and mouse like <laughs> exactly. Thanks for joining us. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.